update is finally here in Fortnite and finally the content is rolling out. With this update we have tons of new things added to the game to the point if I discussed everything this video would be an hour long. Oh no god! No god please no! 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 We have new Peely quests coming to the game which will spice up the storyline even more as well as this we have a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles event pass coming soon. <laughs> hey, this is what I like right here. This this is what I like right here. Alright? You aren't going to want to miss this video. Because it's iconic. Here on the channel we aim to bring you daily Fortnite content with all the latest news, leaks, skins, free V-Bucks, free skins, battle passes, everything you could ever want we provide that here on this channel so make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned all the way until the end of this video so you don't miss out on a single part of it. Also here on the channel we like to gift our subscribers every single day. I know some of you guys don't want to receive a gift so if you are one of them and are just here for all that juicy information go ahead and skip to the time on screen right now and that will take you to all the information we have for you guys today but if you do want to receive a gift all you need to do is drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel comment your epic id down below and make sure to go ahead and add me on epic also and guys if you would like to you can go ahead and follow me over on twitter as well that is on screen for you guys right now one rule please when you do get accepted to receive a gift don't spam me with invites or i will have to remove you which obviously means i then can't gift you and guys a few people questioning the gift at the moment go ahead and check the comments past few videos of people saying thank you for the gifts i have been sending gifts and i will continue to do so and with that being said let's get into all this information we've got for you guys today starting off guys we have the peer leak poster quests now this is pretty simple every single one of these quests is find a missing banana sign for peer leak we have six quests here i believe so it's going to be very easy xp a little bit like what they did with the gnomes back on the chapter one fortnite og map we have to go around and find the gnomes this is just going to be finding the peer leak posters someone will definitely have a video out for this soon it's not the kind of style i like to do for content because i won't be putting one out but there will be stuff out this soon we just got to go around find these posters probably just interact with them so there's that one over at ruin reels which we have had a look at in the past and there's multiple of these around the map but this is definitely getting to a point now where peel is becoming a lot more deeply into the storyline as we can see here with these new categories for the quests and guys this is take down take down the society to rescue peely now guys it's definitely going to become a lot more common during this actual season two and leading up to season two that we're going on the hunt for peely to try and rescue peely from the society Absolutely nothing. I don't know. I just, I just showed up and I don't know. Just, I don't even know the guy to be honest with you. Just rumors. It's definitely going to be a deeper part of the storyline, and I can't wait for this. Moving on, though, guys. From this, we have a tweet here from Hypex. Fortnite OG Part Two being worked on as a separate mode. We don't know if it'll be permanent or temporary again, but it received a separate playlist slash mode tag in today's update. Guys, right? I want to have a little chat about this one here. So personally, I do not want this to be permanent. No way. No way. Why not? Because I feel like it would be pointless on the game and it would wreck the game. It was nice temporary. It was a nice month where we got a nice flashback and when we went back into the storyline. I feel like if they made this permanently, I feel like people would get sick and tired of it and probably not follow the storyline as much as what they actually need to do. Now, obviously, I do want this game mode to come back as a temporary game mode. No, 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 brother. I appreciate you. This sounds like a new opportunity. <laughs> But the fact it's been worked on as a separate mode makes a lot of sense here because I feel like during the actual Fortnite OG that we had before, there was a lot of people that didn't really like this, the people that weren't playing back in Chapter 1 and they wanted to stay on this Chapter 4 map that we had and carry on with that storyline rather than playing that Chapter 1 map, which is perfectly understandable. So Fortnite has obviously got a lot of new players since obviously it started. So feeling like this could be something like what they're doing at the moment where you've got the build mode and a zero build mode and then they might have a Fortnite OG mode as a temporary sort of game mode that they're going to bring in as well. Hopefully that's the way they do this. That I really don't want it to be permanent. I feel like they would just destroy it if it was permanent. And I'm really hoping we see Chapter 2 for Fortnite OG this time around. But guys, before we do get into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and how you can get the Shredder skin inside of the game, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel, liked the video, commented, shared, everything, just overall in general. A massive thank you to all you guys. Whoever you are, thank you. 
I can't thank you guys enough. Like I said, it's just a hobby outside of work for me. And I'm really, really happy with how this channel's going. I can't thank you guys enough for that. And obviously, with all these updates at the moment, we have a lot of content coming to the game. It's going to be very exciting times ahead. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. But now, let's get back to what you clicked on this video for. And that is part two of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Collaboration will have a shredder skin, an in-game location, an event tab, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle weapons and augments, special quests. Remember, as always, any of this can change before its actual release. Now, guys, what I'm going to put in the background here for you now is this actual in-game location. Now, we have seen this for quite a while now. We saw this when Chapter 5 first started. And obviously, when we got the first part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collab, we were hoping to see this then. Obviously, the drain covers did start glowing green, which symbolized that we were going to get it. And it never came into the game. There was a lot of stuff missing. So hopefully, it all goes ahead and Part 2 goes nice and smoothly. As well as this, we will be getting a teaser build-up in-game with sounds and pizza boxes to find the complete teaser quests. There will also be a mini event UI, likely for a club pass with Shredder. And talking about Shredder, this is the Shredder skin that we are expecting to see inside of the game. Now this does look pretty cool, I'm not too sure how it relates to Shredder fully. I mean, I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when I was younger and the rat guy was my favourite guy by far. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty cool. Looking forward to actually seeing this inside of the game. And what you can see in the background right now as well is the event tab preview that we're going to be seeing. It's going to have different loading screens. It's going to have a stage one, stage two and stage three loading screen and it's going to be looking pretty cool. But some extra stuff lore related on Shredder. We will have a quest line soon called April O'Neil Investigates with the following quests. Talk to April, hide in sewer entrances, visit the underground HQ, find empty pizza boxes and the key art for the quest is the Shredder skim image or the image is used somewhere in the game. Now these quests look like this. So these are the actual quests. We have talk to April, pretty simple. The hide in sewer entrances, pretty simple. Visit the underground HQ, empty pizza boxes, visit name locations and travel distance on foot. Now guys, honestly, all of this can probably be done with inside one game. So I mean, the talk to April, a lot of these are just, you've got to do it once and that's it. Pizza boxes is free, depending on obviously how many pizza boxes are inside each map and obviously the game depends obviously how easy this is going to be. But a lot of these quests, it seems like they can just be done inside of one game and hopefully they'll be out there very, very soon. This Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is going to be absolutely insane. We've wanted this for quite a while now. And it's going to be pretty cool. And obviously, once we've got these, we should be able to get the Shredder skin, obviously, inside the game. But overall, guys, this update today has unlocked many, many new doors. And there's lots of stuff that has actually come out of this update that we haven't even covered in this video. As I wanted to put the main focus today on Shredder, we've got obviously stuff with new Rocket Racing. We've got a lot of new Lego stuff. And this is stuff that I'm going to cover, obviously, in tomorrow's video. So make sure you are subscribed so you are around here for tomorrow's video. But overall, it's a very exciting time for Fortnite. We've had a very, very long drought in terms of content since Winterfest. It's been a very, very long time basically since we've had a last update. Nearly a month since we've actually had a good content update inside the game that wasn't just like a little hotfix. And finally, it looks like the content is going to start pumping out again now. We're expecting updates every two weeks up until March the 8th when we are expecting to go into Season 2, which is going to be that Greek mythology season, obviously inside of the game, where we're going to be seeing all these Greek gods with bosses around the map. We're going to have Zeus, Cerberus, we have all these crazy skins around the map. We're going to have the new floating island as like a Greek landmark location. Location. It's going to be pretty cool and you're not going to want to miss a single part of it. And I'm going to keep you up to date with absolutely everything you need to know regarding all the latest news, leaks, information, free skins, free V-Bucks, everything you need to know here on Fortnite. So guys, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.